Okay, so this video is gonna be a bit weird because I'm gonna be that old school head even though I'm late Gen Z, born in the late 90s, so most of what I'm talking about, I've never seen. Some of which I've seen. Uh, do not compare to the times where you had the Hakeem Olajuwon's ones of the world and the Will Chamberlain's of the world. And what that is, is big men, centers, actual dominant big men. You know Shaq, we all know Shaq. He was dominant. And people talk about Giannis like, He's the biggest thing since Shaq. But really, he's not like Shaq, right? Shaq was a total center. Shaq wasn't as mobile as Giannis. He could move, and he could dribble the ball somewhat. But no, no, no. Don't get it twisted. He could not do what Giannis does in terms of dribbling, in terms of being mobile. And Shaq really was a low post guy that could kill you in the paint. And it didn't matter who you put on him. And... Obviously, you have Shaq saying that he plays exactly like Giannis does, and <laughs> of course he's trolling you guys, right? If you're under 12, you, you should know that he's trolling you guys. He's not serious when he says that. Shaq was a real deal, and it didn't matter who he played. And much of the same can be said about a lot of the big men that I'll be talking about today. Actually, no, that's not true. <laughs> By the way, the thumbnail is not a joke. I actually did enjoy watching Roar Hibbert, even though it sounds like I'm drunk or I'm lying. I'm actually not. He was fun to watch, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. Hook, hook shot, uh, go inside, post up, post up. It's the same play, I know. It's the same thing. He, they, all these big men do the same thing, right? <laughs> it's like, why would you enjoy that, right? But at the same time, I could ask you the same thing about uh, Curry shooting freeze. Like he's, like it's nobody's business. Clay Thompson has the same form and he shoots it the same way. It doesn't matter where he's at from the perimeter or from the free point line he shoots it the same so why is it that we enjoy that but we don't enjoy the post-ups as much now obviously it's not like the post-up is completely dead even point guards even big guards use it and oh it's it's, it's it's effective it's effective and i don't think it'll ever go away but um obviously when you have people like rick carlisle saying that you know guys like porzingis don't have to post up as much you just look you just look to yourself and think why is that guy why is that guy lying to us? Like, why? <laughs> how was it that he wasn't fired on the spot after saying those comments? I have no idea how, how somebody as qualified as him to be a coach said these things, but I don't know, man. I don't know what's wrong with him. But it goes to show that Dallas never went really far since Dormuski and Jason Kidd and Brendan Hayward and Jason Terry and Stojakovic and whatnot. So, hey, man. Those were different times, but those are the times where you're dominant. So... Uh, essentially, uh, my this video is pretty much a throwaway video. Not that I'm not putting any effort into it, because honestly, I'm not putting much effort into most of my videos. But this video really is about centers that I like, okay? Um, I like myself uh, some Al Jefferson. I like me some Joakim Noah. I love me... Oh, I love me some Andrew Bogut. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> I don't care about Andrew Bogut, but I do not care. <laughs> I do love me some Tim Duncan though. Wow! Tim Duncan was a pretty good center. He was pretty good. He was really good. Like, and he could shoot too, man. Like, oh my god, man. It's insane. You had Paul Gasol, man. Paul Gasol was really good, man. And you still have his brother Mark playing. I like those guys. Uh, Al Horford was nice. I remember him. And he's still playing. That's cool. Man, I just I have a fond memories of these guys, bro. I still do. And now that you guys, you can talk about Jokic catch all you want, bro. That guy is legit. And I'm not disrespecting him at all. He definitely deserved that MVP. And can't nobody say anything to discredit his play. This guy might win it next year again, bro. And if I don't see this guy win it next year, even though he deserves it, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be very pissed. And I'm going to make 500 videos talking about how pissed I am about that fact. Okay, so Jokic. If you perform the same way, I'm telling you, if he performs the same way he did this year, bro, and doesn't win MVP, I'm sorry, bro. Either the player who did, it was so fantastic that I'm going to make a thousand more videos talking about it, or Jokic was dis disrespected, and most likely is going to be the latter. Let's be honest. And then you have Carl Anthony Towns, the biggest joke in the league because he's a star, but his team isn't good, and his center play is really not much of a center play. He plays like a guard. And he's seven foot? What is he? Like, <laughs> he shoots the free so much. 
that it makes me question whether or not he even is a center sometimes. And to me, that annoys me. And at least Porzingis goes in the low post sometimes, man. But then you have players like Embiid. He frustrates me the most. I'm telling you, man, if he posted up more, he would be even more dominant here than he already is, okay? Because he can already shoot. And we know he can shoot the free. But, man, if he put himself in a position to where he could kill, kill you in the paint, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I don't think anybody could guard him. Oh, my goodness. And he might actually be the player that I'm talking about that could beat Jokic as MVP. Now, only time will tell whether uh, Embiid will actually do those things and whether or not he's just going to be another spot-up shooter for a Philly team that's not going to contend because either Ben Simmons will still be in the team acting like he's the first option even though he plays every game like his childhood bullies on the opposing team or he's going to be leaving the team and that way they're going to get a player in return that won't really offer them that much value because Ben Simmons' stock has gone so low. Wow, how did this video turn to me hating on Ben Simmons again? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, big mans, big mans. Yeah, there's some good big mans out there, but they're not utilizing their body as much. And the most annoying one, obviously, is Cat. Okay, please. Cat, for the love of God, please play like a big man. If you're not going to be winning games, at least at least play like big mans. Because maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's why you guys are losing games. Because there's nobody in the paint to defend, and there's nobody in the paint that's defending. <laughs> 